of those squads are the Cowboys. Yeah. They want a ring. Zeke Elliott, though, continues his holdout from training camp. He's looking to get a new deal done. Here's what Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, though, said about his backup, Tony Pollard, after they had a blue-white scrimmage just yesterday. I thought Pollard uh, really showed uh, uh, the ability to plant quick, plant his feet, and then his quick feet. And uh, he's obviously about as smooth an athlete and certainly uh, uh, running back. You saw the flexibility when we were in there with most of our passing game with the first. And they had him in there to uh, uh, really let him get all these reps that he possibly can. Uh, uh, if he continues to, which he's got to, if he continues to get better and better and better, then uh, I think you're going to see a guy that plays early for the Cowboys. You hear that, Zeke? <laughs> Donovan Cabo, you hear that? Always interesting to hear comments from Jerry Jones, especially about this backup running back or potentially a starting running back if the holdout continues. Is Jerry Jones concerned, though, about getting deals done for Dak, Zeke, and Amari Cooper? It'll happen. Uh, there literally is no uh, uh, concern on my part at all about any time frame. Uh, that'll happen. Uh, the results are too good for them and too good for the Cowboys. Nate, do you believe him? Yeah, I believe him 100%. You know, he wants to pay his guys. He just doesn't, he don't want to break the bank doing it. You know, when speaking about Zeke, getting back to the previous clip when he was talking about Tony Pollard, it's not a shot at Zeke. That's more of a confidence builder for a young guy. I coach a lot of kids um, for every sport. And when my starter isn't playing well, I always compliment the backups because the starter's listening. So he's trying to get mm -hmm. Zeke back to camp. It's not going to happen that easily because it's a little reverse psychology and Zeke knows he has the leverage. But I do believe Jerry Jones, I believe Stephen Jones, also with him saying we're not going to set the mark for guys getting paid and getting broke off. I wish I had a video of Ezekiel Elliott listening to those comments because I don't think that was your simple, hey, it's not at you, it's at this guy. This is what they're doing. They're turning. The, if you're not there, you're not there, and we'll move right along. And of course, he called out that player. He could have called out 89 other players. Really? No, no, he's calling out Tony. Were, Pollard. were you about to say they're turning the page? Is that what you're about to say, Strikes? Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, they're turning the page. You're not here. You're not here. Ezekiel Elliott? You're not one here. One of the best you're running backs not. in the game? That's cool and great. He wasn't there. So they're not talking about Ezekiel Elliott. Tony Pollard is a rookie from Memphis who's going to get the workload. You look at the depth chart for the Cowboys running backs. It is not a who's who of college, like, you know, Heisman candidates. What do you mean? I don't know most of these names. Darius Jackson out of Eastern Michigan. Tony pa Mike Weber was at Ohio State also. I don't remember Mike Weber making a ton of plays last year. But Ezekiel Elliott's the one in yellow, Nate, and he is not <laughs> there. So the show will go on, and knowing Jerry Jones, he'll pump up whoever is there, and we'll suddenly be talking about them on Mondays. He's got three people to pay, three mega superstar superstars. You're going to lose one of them. He said yesterday, quote, it'll happen, it'll happen. There's literally no concern on my part at all for any time frame that it'll happen. I call. Yeah? You know what? I do, too. No I do, way. too. This is like the Tony Pollard thing is like a, you, you draw a, a heart in the sand when you're on vacation so your ex-girlfriend can see it. I'm in love. Like, it's practically like, I thought uh, They're crying at the bar. Tony Pollard did really well today. <laughs> like, it was so good. Tony Pollard was a return guy in college. Like, those guys always look good in air in scrimmage. Like, because they're fast, they look athletic. But, like, this is a very deliberate thing to Cabo Wobble. Be like, oh, we found a new man. Did you? We'll see. You love Cabo Wabo. I do. Mas tequila, the Red Rocker. <laughs> Semi Hagar, just oh let it rip. Gosh, down yes. there. Yeah. At GMFB. <laughs>